Well, it's happened. A huge lawsuit filed in the boating industry. Two of the biggest names on the dealership side. Uh, last week, Tommy's filed suit. Tommy's uh, boats, a 15, 16 location dealership, filed a $100 million lawsuit against Malibu Boats. So let me explain. And then we have Malibu's response that came out today. So Tommy's is alleging, if you read the article in, in uh, Soundings Trade Only, and I heard rumors of this about a month ago that one of Malibu's largest dealers was going out of business. Now, that's the rumor I heard uh, and some others. As a matter of fact, talked to a guy today about the rumor as well and um, <clears throat> came across this article after doing some research. So here's what Tommy's is alleging. They're saying that Malibu engaged in an elaborate scheme to overmanufacture and pump nearly $100 million of its highest priced, highest margin, slow moving inventory into 15 Tommy's dealership collectives called Tommy's um, in order to artificially inflate Malibu's sales performance, artificially claim increased market share in the industry and artificially inflate its stock value during an obvious downturn in the recreational market. So according to the suit, this happened starting in 2022, that Malibu didn't come through on some of the rebate and incentives that they had put out there. And Tommy's is saying it was in the millions of dollars. Then Malibu and its reps pushed a bunch of inventory on them for commitment saying, hey, Tommy's, you need to increase your, uh, your floor plan line of credit from 50 million up to 160 million. So you can take on all these extra boats. Now, Tommy's saying that they dangled incentives from for 2023 and 2024 and stood firm in its own alleged Marcus analysis, causing Tommy's to increase their floor plan. So Tommy's took their advice saying, hey, maybe they know something we don't know. And they raised their floor plan and they said, OK, we'll take the boats. It's something I talked about back three years ago in one of my first market updates is that Things are going to go good, but as long as the manufacturers don't over push inventory on the dealers, which, by the way, happens every up and down cycle, they always do it. Um, and some dealers hold firm. Sometimes they lose the relationship. Other dealers will say, OK, we're going to trust you on this one. Um, and in this case, it seems like maybe they were given some poor guidance. Um, whether it was anything illegal, I don't know. Uh, but. Tommy's saying it relied on Malibu's representations and promises, initially increased its floor plan from 50 million to 85, then up to 110 within a, a 20 million over limit to satisfy what it alleges was Malibu and Springer's goal to artificially inflate the manufacturer's number. So they're also saying in the suit, not only was it Malibu, but it was the now ex-CEO, Jack Springer, uh, that was involved in pushing this to inflate everything up. Now, I don't know whether it was to save the job, whether there was an exit bonus at play um, that motivated this action, uh, but that's what Tommy's is alleging, and they filed suit quietly. Uh, they just did it through the court system, and then Malibu said, we're going to respond publicly. So this came out on the 11th, so this came out on Thursday, um, three day, two or three days after the uh, suit went in. So if you look, their very first, and this is on Malibu's uh, BoatInc.com website, any and all boats that Malibu sold to Tommy's boats was ordered by Tommy. So they're saying, hey, say what you want, but you ordered that inventory, um, even though they're saying that they flooded them with the inventory um, uh, too quickly, I guess, to get it in the first quarter, maybe, I don't know. Um, Malibu intends to vigorously defend itself while minimizing any short-term impact on existing dealer partners and customers. So that's what they're leading off with, with their subheads. Now, if you go through Malibu saying, whoa, hold on a second, is we only delivered boats that they actually ordered. So we didn't, we didn't send boats that weren't ordered. They ordered it and they the ones that raised their credit line. They did that by themselves and we delivered on that. Um, any boats were sold to them and uh, we fulfilled our obligation under the agreement. That's what, uh, that's what we do. They took action in light of Tommy's selling boats out of trust. So Malibu is saying that Tommy's did a big, big no-no in the marine industry, and that's called selling boats out of trust. Essentially, you've got the manufacturer, you've got the dealer, and then you've got the floor plan company. So 
Tommy says, hey, we're going to order $100 million in votes. That's about 500 votes or so, uh, give or take. We're going to order them. Malibu delivers them. Upon delivery, Malibu doesn't pay cash for them. Some dealers do, but most don't. They tap into their line of credit, the line of credit funds to the manufacturer, so they're whole. And now the dealer lets that ride on their line of credit until they sell. But here's the key is the day that boat sells, that next day, that part of your line of credit needs to be paid off. You send them a report saying, we sold this whole identification number. That was valued at this much on the line of credit. Here's the check to pay that off. And then we get to pull in money as the profit. That's selling a boat out of trust. Essentially, you're selling the boat. You're not paying off the line of credit. You're using those funds for operating expenses, what usually happens when a company's struggling. And then what happens is the customer has a boat that can't get titled right away. So sometimes there's some shell games where they'll sell the boat out of trust and they won't pay it off for 30, 60, 90 days. And um, meanwhile, they're telling the customer, your boat will get titled, your boat will get titled. Malibu is saying, we found out about this. And so we severed our dealer relationship with Tommy's. Now, what's interesting is Tommy makes up about 33% of Malibu, the brand, not Malibu boats, but Malibu, the brand, the surf boat, 33% of the market share goes to Tommy's. So I find it really interesting that Malibu would just cut those ties and give up a third of their revenue. Um, now, being out of trust is a huge no-no, uh, but I found that very interesting that they still delivered all these boats um, in, in that quarter, but now they're saying, but well, we didn't have a dealer agreement because they were out of trust. Um, and it says Tommy's is already mired in litigation over its default on its lending agreement. So Tommy's floor plan lender is M&T Bank, okay? And so m and I guess, has sued Tommy for breach of lending agreement um, and has filed a motion to appoint a receiver over the assets of Tommy. So that's all of their inventory, those 500 Malibu boats, but also the other brands that they carry in their 15, 16 locations. I'm not sure where that stands, but that could be a big influx of inventory that has been repossessed from Tommy's, uh, who, by the way, is still actively operating business. If you go to their website, you can go see all of their inventory. You can see a, a Malibu uh, incentive, seven months free for all 2023 Malibus. Learn more at all of their locations. What is that? Three, all of their 15 locations. Um, and if you look, they've got 925 units, of uh, major units of inventory. So if what Malibu is saying that m and is shutting down their line of credit and repossessing those boats, essentially putting them in receivership. That means there's 925 units of inventory that are no longer Tommy's and will be filtered out to other dealers in the network, sold through auction. Um, it could be very interesting in those markets for Tommy's. Malibu is working to mitigate any disruption to our partners and customers, as well as our business. We've been working with our dealership network and are in discussions with strong dealer partners to limit any service gaps in markets previously served by Tommy's. We remain committed to the markets, okay? So that what they're saying is, hey, we're trying to find other Malibu dealers that can take on the warranty work, and we're also trying to backfill those 15 markets with good dealers that can start carrying those Malibus, maybe buy some of those 500 plus boats that probably were delivered um, that are the underlying cause of, of Malibu or Tommy's initial suit, um, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Now I'm just doing my market update report, which I'll probably be recording later today and we'll give you, um, some commentary a little bit on this, but what other dealers out there that just mismanaged their funds during the pandemic when they were making money hand over fist and come 23, they're on the downward slide. And now they've got these boats that their line of credit is saying, listen, you need to get these boat moved. Uh, we're not allowing you to add additional boats to your inventory. So you can't order 24s. You can't order 25s in just a handful of months here, five months, the 25s will start to come out. And so are we going to see other dealers? Maybe not in the, the amazing way that this all went down with, with Tommy suing Malibu, 
uh, and filing a, filing a lawsuit, Malibu responding back in kind. I don't know if there's a, a any sort of lawsuit, but a, a public statement saying, no, Tommy's had poor business practices, essentially, is what they're saying. And that's on them. We didn't do anything wrong. Uh, so are there going to be other dealers locally that are going out of business? I know one in my area uh, that I know the owner very well. Um, and they have closed down their doors because they had too much inventory. The line of credit said, nope, not going to do it. And they weren't making their interest and curtailment payments. And they said, okay, we have to come and get these votes from you. Uh, and then we'll filter them out to the dealer network through auctions. The manufacturer will sometimes buy them back. It's it handled different ways. Um, but that's what's happening. If you have any insight, if you're a Malibu customer, Hey, what are you hearing? If you have warranty work, what what are you hearing from Malibu? Uh, if you're a Tommy's customer, what are you hearing from Tommy's? If you are are involved in the situation, have some insight, go ahead and put it in the comments. And also let me know, are you hearing any rumblings in your market area of a dealer that may be faltering, a dealer that may be having some issues? Uh, if that's the case, if more dominoes are going to fall, what's that going to mean for the boat market? I, my prediction has always been we're not going to see a massive crack. We are going to see prices come down slightly, but we're not going to see a crash. Let me know, because maybe I'm off base here. Maybe I'm reading the tea leaves all wrong, and this is just the first domino to fall. It's a pretty big one, though. Tommy's is a huge player, and uh, they've been on a serious growth trajectory over the last five years or so. Um, so let me know in the comments. Like this video. And um, be looking on for the market update, which will be coming out very soon.